Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing another tra traditional work and we are using watercolors. And this entire video, I made it for the sole reason of I wanted to use my Sakura Koi watercolors. And I bought these somewhat recently and I did show them off a little bit in my swatching video. That swatching video also only exists because I bought the Koi watercolors and I wanted to have a swatch of it. And then I decided to swatch everything else that I have in my possession. So yeah. So I bought these semi recently. It's a bit of a guilty buy. It wasn't really impulse since I've been thinking about it for years, months. Well, since I saw it, it's been months and I wanted to get it. Even though I don't really need it since I still have my tube paints. So, but yeah, it's a, it's a guilty buy. I gave in and I bought them under the reason that I've been traveling a little bit for a little while and I was extremely bored. I didn't have space for my tube paints and my sketchbook so I thought that hey, it's pretty handy to have a like a travel kit so it's my excuse to buy the Koi watercolors. Woo! So yeah, <laughs> no regrets though. It's absolutely beautiful. So let's start with I guess with the theme of the drawing. So when I did this speed paint, it was raining a lot for a couple of days. And I actually do like the rain more than summer. I like the rainy season a bit more. Especially if I'm not, you know, if I'm inside and just watching it rain. But I wanted to do several rain themed pieces. And this is the first of them. I'm not sure if I'll continue and make more. We'll see in the future if I feel inspired enough to do it. But yeah, I just wanted to do something uh, simple, uh, really nice and gentle to look at. And yeah. So talking about the Sakura Koi watercolors itself, they're absolutely brilliant. Um, the color, let's start with that. This is the 30 set, and compared to my Reeves watercolor, they're super saturated, they're super vibrant, the colors just pop out and they look so good together. Uh, compared to my leaves that is that has like it's slightly faded or it's a it's a it's a lot less saturated than this. So working with the coils was a delight. Um blending wise they're actually pretty good too. Uh, they reactivate they reactivate nicely. They layer together nicely, they blend together nicely, like I can't find a thing that I hate about these watercolors, like, it's so, there's nothing, it's perfect, I guess. Um, yeah. Uh, the paper I'm using, by the way, is the Fabriano postcard cold pressed paper, and it's already a pretty good, well, it's one of the best papers for watercolors, so I guess that will lend a hand on how well these work, but compared to the leaves, it's really a different level of goodness. <laughs> so, one thing I wasn't really used to with the Koi is that they are pan watercolor, and I'm used to tubes. Last time I used pan watercolors, I was in elementary. But ever since then, I, when I started seriously studying how to use watercolors, I was using the tube paints. So I wasn't sure 100% how to use the palette and I know you can use it for mixing colors but um, I wasn't sure you know how much paint I should put on there unlike with the, with the tubes you stick slightly back tap it against the your palette and then you have some paint on it and then you water it down with this I wasn't sure how much pigment would transfer from the from the pan to the brush to the palette but surprisingly, it worked out pretty well. It was still pretty pigmented. And I still did need to water it down a little bit to create the more softer colors. So it's a pretty potent um, paint. Uh, what else? Yeah, as I was afraid of... The, the, thing, the reason I didn't use pans for the longest time is that they tend to be a bit messy. I wasn't... Like, when you're younger... When you want to mix like blue and yellow, you take, you take the blue and then put it on the yellow pan. Of course, I didn't really know how palettes worked. 
So I guess having the palette and knowing how to use it better makes it a lot less messy. Yeah. Um, so it comes with the water brush, and it comes with the stopper that you see there near the sponge, the black little knob there. So even if your brush has still water in it, you can um, just stopper it with a stopper and keep it in your case. So the water brush itself, uh, compared to my pencil water brush, it's a little bit stiffer. The the bristles are a bit stiff, stiffer, but it does make creating sharp and crisp lines and edges a lot easier. Um, the reservoir of the water, uh, compared to the pencil, because the pencil has a very squishy and soft uh, reservoir, so it's easy to make the water flow out. This one's a bit stiffer, though the, gra the gravity does just pull it down naturally, so it wasn't that much of an adjusting factor. As I had to adjust a bit more to the stiffness of the brush over how stiff the reservoir is. So yeah, there's not much to say. It's great. It's a good investment. My friend told me that she's had her coys for years and years now, ever since she was in high school, I believe, and she said that she hasn't even finished any of the paints. Though that's one thing that I'm curious about. Like, if I use up the paints, how will I replace them? Especially since I love the colors. Are there, like, pants that I can buy to replace the, the existing ones if I use them up whenever, if ever that happens? So yeah, I'm, that's what I'm just not sure about. That's the difference with tube paints. Like, we've started bringing out uh, big tubes of their watercolors, so it's easy to replace their colors. the colors now if they run out. Uh, but with these coys, I'm not sure what happens if they run out. Like, do I buy a new set? Do I make do and just use some other watercolor? Or do they have tube paints? Yeah, I'm, I haven't seen anyone talk about their coys running out, so I don't have any form of reference. But other than that, it's a great pan if... Actually, even if you don't travel, if you, even if you don't go anywhere, I love it. Just It's great just to have. And yeah. I would 100% I would recommend buying them. They're great. They're super great. So, this is a short video since it's a pretty small one. And the coys make it so easy to finish. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please like this video if you enjoyed it and me rambling on about the coys. Subscribe. I do a lot of art videos like fan art. I do occasional challenges here and there. And follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, or DeviantArt. And I'll see you around.